expected value is what we're going to be talking about today. And this is equal to the mean. So we, in math, we love to change the name of things. So it reminds me a lot of P. Diddy, the Puff Daddy, and Sean Combs. Just like him, he changes his name a lot, and in math, we do the same thing. So the mean is equal to expected value, and this is the formula. E equals the sum of x times P of x. P of x is the probability. We take that times x and add them all up. Expected value. The expected value represents the mean value of the outcomes. E equals the sum of x times P of x. In the game of roulette, the player can place a $5 bet on the number 17 and have a 1 out of 38 probability of winning. If the metal ball lands on 17, the player wins $175. Otherwise, the casino takes the player's $5. What is the expected value of the game to the player? First thing we need to do is talk about the probability. The probability of a win is 1 out of 38. But what is the probability of a lose? So you have to take 1 minus the probability of a win to get the probability of a lose, which would be 38 over 38 minus 1 over 38, which is equal to 37 over 38. And that would equal the probability that you lose. Setting up a table is the easiest way to calculate expected value. X would be the money aspect. So either we're going to win, and if we win, we are going to be happy, or we're going to lose, and that's going to make us sad. So if we win, we're gonna win $175. The probability that we win is one out of 38. If we lose, we're gonna lose $5. Now in math, to show a loss, it's a negative. So we're gonna lose $5. The probability of that happening is 37 over 38. The probabilities must equal 1, so if you add these together, it's equal to 1, and that's how you can check to make sure you have these right. Now, on this column, you want to take x times p of x. So this is x times p of x. You take 175 times 1 over 38, and that will equal 4.6053. A loss, you take negative 5 times 37 over 38, which equals negative 4.8684. Now for the sum. So the formula for expected value is the sum of x times p of x. So now we add these two together and that'll get you your expected value, which is a negative 0.2631. This is money related. We would round to the nearest cent. So you are expected to lose 26 cents.